Jane versus Illyria. All right. One thing notable about this deck, and I don't even think it misses it, there's no primordial glyphs. It's arguable we could cut the tar creepers for that, but I don't think I even want to yet. We're against the hunter. I'm actually going to keep the frost lich lady. This seems better. Mexis says 60% of the time is on time every time. One time! Hello, Wanderer. Hello, 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 Wanderer. Hello. Let's hit him with a hello. Oh, I don't know if you recognize me. I'm a spell hunter. Oh, shoot spell hunters right in the face. There it is. Get shit upon by your pal day nine. Whoa. Whoa. I'm really worried that there's going to be some sort of appallingly offensive racist jerk that starts using Power Rangers moves. Because I, I, I feel very emotionally close to Power Rangers moves. Because I grew up watching a lot of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Where they'd be like, oh, huh, huh, and they'd like do that shit, man. I do that all the time. I'm 32. And I do that. Aaron Twice is my dude. Great to see the formatting worked. But quick question, if magic grows as a game on Twitch, can you make the streams more frequent? Wait, when you say the formatting worked... Oh, the reformatting. Bleh. No, I, I have full intentions on playing magic two, three times a month um, for the rest of the year. Okay, so do I want to do this now? I think, I think yeah, I just plop down the Stonehill friend. I think Hungry Etten is actually very nice against his potential suite of cards. The fact that he didn't throw out a big pile of dogs is pretty bad for him. But is that truly enough magic? I don't know, man. I don't I don't actually know if he can hit enough magic. I don't know, like I was I mean I, I actually am obligated to shoot this one. Now, if I do this, then on turn 7, I do this. Or excuse me, I do this, and then turn 8, I do this, right? So this is an excellent time to do this. Major Strange says Google Power Rangers to see hail. It already does exist. Well, that's not good. Do you know if the game will be wiped on release? My understanding is yes. Not poisonous. Oh my god, I'm so happy they printed this bad garbage two mana awful Van Cleef. More like Van Huyf. Russ Paul says, didn't catch the deck construction. What's the reason for the two simulacrums? I'll give you a hint. It provides an Exodia win combo. Now let us see if you can spot it. Do not fear. And turn, we don't want to have anything coming back to the hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He might just give up. It's a very large hint. It's in fact the hint is defense. Two simulacrums generate two sorcerer's apprentices. You then play the leyline manipulator to have the generated sorcerer's apprentices cost drop to zero. So now you have one sorcerer's apprentice and two free ones. You play Antonitis for seven, play the next sorcerer's apprentice for two play two more Sorcerer's Apprentices for zero, and then play the Molten Reflection for one mana, giving you an Exodia combo. And a win! He made a big boo-boo. Oh, he's made quite the boo-boo. Incredible! C'est incroyable. Let's see the really incredible thing. Nyak, 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 nyak. It was basically the deck that made Disguised Toast's career. Um, Disguised Toast always wants to Exodia. This is this is this is our little day nine version of an Exodia combo that we learned about earlier today. Because the the other Exodia deck provided by Exynic, 
who joined us in chat earlier. It was a sprint at all costs to get to the magical splendiferous combinations, but... I think that we are okay. Get it off. This is probably best to do. I do want to generate more of these fine, fine gentlemen. Collision says, I think it would be awesome if you and Twitch did a live draft from HQ, streamlined for a couple hours working for the Coast. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that because that is something that I actually meaningfully cannot do. That is good, good, good. Mage cards are unfair and amazing. Geth Overlord says, oh, a new badge hype. Didn't even realize. Yeah, good to see you, Geth Overlord. You know, I don't know if we've ever bonded about this, but Mass Effect 1 was unbelievable. That is like one of the most impactful moments in gaming for me, was playing through that game. So when I see you at the ID Geth Overlord... Oh, oh, I think there was one time where I was bantering with you and I told you to, to go fuck off and hide in the Perseus Vale. <laughs> and I was just high-fiving myself. I'm like, oh, I got the reference. And you were like, oh my god, why is he yelling so much? I guess there's everyone on that Emmy hype, and yes, I remember that. Ew. It was so amazing. Alright. Comes a time in every man's life when he just has to hurry the damn game up, you know? Aha! Yeah, he can mill me, I like really don't care, it's fine. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Alright. Okay, see, now, now I think we're actually gonna win a lot of games today. I think we might just. Clamber our little body all the way up to rank uh, legendary. Yeah, that's it. Mm. R. Wood says, Have you played, slash, do you plan to play, slash, have you heard of Steven's Sausage Roll? It might be the best puzzle game ever made. Steven's Sausage Roll is like a very weird game. Like, that's that's one of those, oh yeah, my buddies who enjoy algebraic topology are really into Steven's Sausage Roll. I want the arcane officer. I think I do keep the meteor given this glut of swollen threats. It's a weird game. I have only watched footage of it, but basically it we is this our curse into our seemingly simple, terribly named, invisible to many, but slowly gaining word of mouth game. Where, where it's it's just this unbelievably complicated topological reasoning game. And everyone's like, "Oh, it's topological reasoning," and I'd be like, "Fuck, I don't know. I don't even know why." Like, it's 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 a puzzle game that's like really loved by people who play math, right? Math players like this game. I believe that this is a safe play on turn three because he doesn't have a way to deal three damage with three mana on this turn. Unless he, like, coins out... The fucker. God. Maybe the 
the game is Stevens. Stevens Sausage Roll. I want to hit that and ping. I want to like draw down. I think, I think drawing down is good. Oh my god, we're at nine chords! Nine, nine chords! We want him to play out some more dudes. How long is the stream delay? About a second and a half. It's extremely low. Shields, butts. And then I'm gonna life tap. J2 Phoenix is that I hear of a day night festival coming up soon. That's right, 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 right. You are the day night festival. We're gonna get together and play a shitload of games on a weekend. Here's how it works. Saturday, stream day, that's when I'm gonna be playing games like Heroes of the Storm. 100 person in-house PUBG games, that's with all you folks. And of course, the Dota 10v10 Especial. I don't really want to spend my Meteor on this. We would lose six, yeah. I think that this is an acceptable play. Yeah, so we're going to do that on Saturday, July 21st. It's also going to be in preparation for the Day Night Festival Community Day, where all you fine folk are organizing all sorts of fun get together a type get together a type activities. We did this deck construction. Okay. Community day is community day. No Fortnite. You know, I don't even have Fortnite really set up to do anything yet. I like, don't have in-houses and stuffs like that, man. Now, how do we do this? We can actually just bonk out a blizzard again. I think we just delay a turn, something like that. I mean, that's... It's a good one, but I didn't... Ah! Shoot this one. Wow. Anyone see what it was? Anyone see what it was? I hate that. Anyways, July 21st, Day Night Festival. Everyone's invited to play. It's just an open, fun thing. Largely focused on the stream that day and the 22nd. Again, open to anyone. That's where there's going to be a ton of uh, just community-run games, D&D stuff. I know there's people who just asked about Fortnite. Well, guess what? It'll be a mighty good time to do some of that there. Fortnite. This is just turning out great. Another Doomsayer there. So, I feel like the Hooked Reavers, the Mountain Giants, and the Twilight Drakes are the most significant threats that I am... ...consoined about, proverbially speaking. So if I... How do I do this? Alright, if I... ...peck this guy down... Yeah, that seems correct. Now I can also peck this pecker. I don't think I'll do that like that. Because then I can hit here. Meteor, that'll be at one. Hit that one. I surely haven't played Fortnite. I don't terribly have much interest in devoting, like, big bulks of my time to playing it. I'll probably try it at some point, but... Play for funsies. Hmm. Fantastic news. Fantastic news. This makes our lives way easier. And he's an even warlock, so he doesn't have like a carnivorous cube. Yeah, no, I think that uh, we just ripped the nuts. This guy. Your magic shall not save you. Your magic will. 
You know, it's possible for us to just molten reflection here and keep drilling in, but I don't necessarily think that we must do this. I think that just continuing to strike is good. It's good. I guess he could have Blood Reaver Gul'dan and we could, like, lose that way. But even then, he has a 4-4, four, 6-6, four, six, six, and 2-2-4s, two, two, is that right? I mean, it's like really not a huge deal. I think we'll probably will be having to win with the double lift. Oh my god, it's double lift! Hi, double lift! Hey! Can I ask you a question, Brad? Brood War? Holy, like, my nipples are hard, and it could be because it's cold in here, or it could be because you asked me for information about Brood War, so, given that it's one of those two, I'll hear out the Brood War question. I'm ready to hear it out. I'm ready to hear it out. Let's have it. I will now receive it. Alright, what is it? What percentage would you give the PvZ matchup before Bisu versus Savior? I have statistical evidence behind this that it was between 53 and 54% win rate for the uh, Zerg matchup. Uh, with, in some map pools, 54, 55%. So it was a really difficult, really oppressive matchup to play uh, for that reason. Uh, a lot of Protoss players didn't really have that many solutions, couldn't really figure out had to deal with the fact that Zergs could expand a lot, go Hydras or Mutas, it was really hard to scout. And then when Bisu developed his Corsair DT style, or more generally his Corsair opening, that nowadays he does Corsair Speed Zealot, it actually flipped 10% differential. So it went from about 54% win rate for the Zerg down to about a 44 to 45% win rate for Zerg for the time being after. Like Zergs did not know what to do, dude. They were absolutely conflusterated. And so, even to this day, um, the style of opening up with heavy Corsair play and using it to get map control is so far and away the dominant manner of playing the matchup. Really, really cool. That's, that's why Bisu was called the revolutionist at the time because people were just shocked at how awful these picks were. That's why. What the? Okay, I guess we'll get Osrock. Do I even have any more elementals? No. Oh, that is so cry frown bad, man. It's okay, I'm gonna shoot this. Oh, I'm tickling with elementalism. Thanks, bro. I love your hard nipples. It's very thoughtful of you to say thank you. I think there's nothing wrong with one grown man respecting another grown man's hard oh, nipples. I think that's one thing I really like about Twitch mm. he's, he's chewing on me. Oh, I feel like a frost lich, Jaina. Now, if I just draw Archmage Antonitis, we immediately win this game. So yeah, man, do double lift. You playing? You playing lately? You playing some of them B dubs? Yeah. Oh, look, if he wants to chew through that, that's fine. I think we may have accidentally built a real winner of a deck. So this might look derpy, but I'm simply going to play this, because even if I only draw one, it's fine. Oh, now we just have to hit the buttons properly. Oh my goodness. Look at him spending all his lifesteal spells on this. Isn't this awesome? Isn't this awesome what he's saying? Uh-oh. So now we are guaranteed... Thing of beauty. 
So we need spaces for five slots. Oh my god. No one wants to feed the All right, here we go. This deck is so stupid. It is amazing. Did I make this deck? You know I did, baby. The core idea I did hear from X Cynic. core idea being this one turn Exodia. But I think that I would describe my contribution to this nonsense is the idea of not trying to rush to the combo but playing more of an archetypal control mage. Notable absences, there's no secrets, so there's no Arcanologist, there's no Ice Barriers, there's also no Primordial Glyphs. And I feel like this, this matchup is one of the, like, the true test matchups. I don't think we're gonna actually okay so here's what I'm thinking mages could he could also be a control mage he could absolutely be a control mage but he could be an aggro mage and against aggro mage I don't think that we need to win via exodia I think that's kind of nonsense so I think that what the way that we're actually going to win is just with intelligent control so I, I'm, I'm sort of intending for this sorcerer's apprentice to maybe just get run out Maybe just be run out. Primal Turtle for 14 months. Says, love the show. Keep it up. Cat Dad, here's to another 14. Hey, thanks, man. You might know I'm the best Cat Dad ever. I feel like a dad person. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forget some of the emotes that we have on this channel sometimes. <laughs> So like hold up the cat dad mug and then just like field medic immediately replies with a cat dad mug and I was like ah! okay so this is a control mage whom we will win against because I don't think anyone else is running this deck I think this might be literally I'm actually going to change the channel title New Exodia Mage build. Let's update that information. Yeah. 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 I think I'm going to play out this Tar Creeper. Kengar Creep Tar. What does Exodia mean? It comes from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's this combination of cards that basically, when gathered together, just blow up your opponent. And I don't know enough about the specifics of it. I think, I think it... Isn't it like if you have this combination of cards at the start of the game, you like immediately win, so it's like a turn zero win? I I, I believe I'm getting the lore vaguely correct. I believe. How long can this go on? Mr. Dr. Thrash. <laughs> Valencia says to Mr. Dr. Thrash, just go watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged Episode 1. You also have an Infinity Gauntlet mug, asks Nexus. I swear I saw you drinking that one that resembled having Infinity Stones on the side of few streams. Oh no, that's a portal mug. It is a mug that has like the portals cutting right through the middle. It's, it's, it's a very sexy mug. <laughs> wow, it's really nice. So I believe that this is sort of this temp tempo elemental mage. So I actually do think that I want to... Is it bad to coin out this meteor? Yes. I'm going to coin out the flame strike because I believe that it has four big threats. There's the two... Um, I don't know if he's running Dragon Call or Lana. No, he wouldn't. That wouldn't matter. I don't know if I want to use my uh, Meteor there. or not, because some of these elemental decks, um, 
I'll want to preserve the flame strike for because it just builds up a lot of dudes. Some of them I want to preserve the meteor for because you have a couple big threats. Uh, excuse me, gross. I did this. I cursed them all. That's incredible. Okay. So this is a bit like what I mean. So I think taking a little damage here is fine. Obviously our... Ooh. No, I think that the blizzard is less good here. I think we just want to just want to kind of start things over because I also want to begin getting my Acolyte of Pain drawing. Valencia says thanks for being an amazing person. Right back at you, Valencia. You swing it. Why? Why do we even want to? Ooh! Ooh! It's a relatively smart move for him to run that out because uh, it, it's fairly uncomfortable for me in a wide variety of uh, circumstances. Vicious Foxes, what is this deck? This is a control deck. It's controlling until we get this... Is it a six-card combo? It's two Simulacrums, a Sorcerer's Apprentice, a Molten Reflection, an Archmage Antonitis, and a Leyline Manipulator. So it's, it's that six-card combination. So we Frost Lich Jaina to stabilize. Awesome Blue says, I see Exodia, I click. Yeah, no, I changed the stream title to say Exodia. Let's see if it works out for him. Oh my god, who here has seen Game Night? Game Night... Game Night is one of the funniest movies I have seen in ages hence. I mean, that is stupid good. Alright, so we're getting remotely close. And I do want to crack into this guy. Fear those who wield it! Nothing but elementals, baby. Nothing but. Game Night, the movie Game Night is so good. Game Night, I believe, was released at the same time as some other really big, big, big movie. God, it's so good. Oh, everyone thought I was talking about the Command Zone with Ashley Birch. No, 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 that's just... That's just when I... That, that was simply when I played a game one day. Although that was... So fun. Oh my god. How, how did the episode turn out? Do I want to play this right now? No, I don't think I do. I'm going to do this first. How do I feel to finally get punished for a greedy hand? You have not seen me play Magic on this stream, man. Why no Artificer? Because I believe that on the following turn I can set myself up a little bit better. Because he'll likely have less threats on the board. Oh yeah, this deck runs with it runs the damn voodoo. Okay, so do we want to run out two? I think we do want to run out two. Reality, reality. It's the guy with the control cards versus the guy with the creature cards. By my frozen heart. Now, who do I wish to hit? I think I just... 
pop this here, freezes it, and then I have one available next turn. We expect that he does not have a lot of spells, because if he's running a book of specters, I think that he's largely... Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! Sucks a bit, but not, not a ton. I mean, I basically have a clear. Dastra710 says, any thoughts on investing in crypto? Seems like a bad idea. Seems like a really bad idea. Time melts away. Alright guys, I hope you guys are looking forward to our 10 hour game here. So let's see here. If I meteor this, I can ping that, hit that, kill that, and that seems good. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, all right. Uh, uh. Yeah. That's about the best I got, I think. I mean, I know he can shoot this and summon a dude, but I feel like it's the best. Oh, I can. And I'm at, I'm at like a bazillion health. And I have a number of draw options in hand. So, right now, we just need to keep digging deep. Having hope. Well, that one up. Bank donk. So I think it's just shoot this and draw. Let's draw first and see if we can get anything fantastic. This is actually going to be an extremely useful card later on, so that's very nice. And I think this is a very effective bonk to do. Oh no, I guess you would shoot there and bonk that. Well, that's fine, whatever. We have so much health. Oh my god, Idle Satire says, Oh, I asked my boyfriend to marry me, and he said yes. Oh my god, Lady Time Satire, that is... Away. That is so hype. Oh my god. Yay. Flames consume you. Oh, now this is a twist I did not anticipate. But I did not anticipate potato. So I think we're at the point where I actually gotta start. Wait, look out, Despy! Don't get squished by your dad. He's got a lot of frozen nerds. He has a quite a lot beat the frozen nerds. One, two. So if I play that and ping, I'll be at nine. Let the pain speak to me. So then I can. This is this is certainly a risk. What do I do? Do I go for the removal? Do I go for the freeze? I think I just go for the freeze. This be. Come on. Hey. Hey, come here. Get down. Here. Here's my leg. Go down on my leg. Get down to the ground. <sighs> just being a bad cat, you know. Trying to get up, get up all in my space. Cat butt stream. Ooh. Sw quickly, switch to IRL. Oh. This oh, that's your spot. That's a good spot for you to be in because it doesn't mess with me. Yeah. Oh, little happy scritchy spots. Hi, Dispy. Then I'll summon an even larger man. Oh my god, a seductive walrus says, cheers, Sean. 2,500 mm. bits says, I'd appreciate an updated review of my video's suggestion. Argus the Immortal. I haven't forgotten about you. Oh my god, I think we might actually mill nothing. We're actually fine, we did it. We got the whole combo, guys. We won. Now, it's gonna require a couple of... a couple sequences of steps here, but... Uh, 
Frost Nova. This. This. Stop all decision making. Simulacrum. It's very hard for us to lose this. Oh my god, that's a great point. Borsty says, It's very nice of Despy to get comfy next to you and remind you of all the great bonuses a Twitch Prime subscription grants you. Guys, Despy's right. If you connect your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime, you know what happens? You get one free subscription every month mm, to any broadcaster you would like to support. Now, as a broadcaster, obviously, we love when you give us a Twitch Prime sub. It literally pays the bills. That's fantastic. However, I will note that in particular this month, they're giving away, I believe, 21 games for free, including Tyranny and Pillars of Eternity that I personally have streamed and think are fucking kick-ass games because I'm kind of obsessed with everything that Game Nights does. Ooh! All right, so I don't think you can do nothing right now. Now, if this is a counter spell, this could hurt us a lot. So we're going to play this first. This is good. Uh, doesn't matter what. Just gonna do something cheap. Good. Explosive rune. Okay. Hot dang. So yeah, I just want to say to any of you who are paying attention to Despy still, I know why you wouldn't. She can be really annoying. You know, to any of you who do love our little Despy girl and want a Twitch Prime subscription, get to your Amazon Prime. And as always, it would be much appreciated. Now, here is here is some really important bits here. We need to play this. And it is very critical that we cast a spell in case this is a counter spell. Now we win next turn. Right? Now we win next turn. Unless that's somehow a counter spell that can dodge. I must decide. I'm burning up. I'm burning up. Oh. These games take forever, but by God, we're winning a lot of them. Just trying to get all these complicated ass turns going. A real nut move was getting those artificers to gain us like 50 health or something. All right, you ready for the nonsense? Who's ready for the nonsense? It's me. Power Hot Sean Plot knows how to win a game a lot. Oh my god. He feels like a sad person. Ah! Hope you enjoyed the booty shot. Jaina versus Garrosh. Victory or death! You asked for it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Oh, I love tuning into a stream. He's always licking his fingers in anticipation. Oh, it's so sick. Warrior, I actually think, is the one deck that we do lose to, right? We do lose to a warrior, correct? Uh, does this deck tracker have a win-loss for this deck? We have only lost when we cast a simulacrum in a one game when we were holding a doomsayer. Okay, it's a rush deck. He's dead. He's D E D dead. Yes. Hey guys, okay, I got a question for you. I got I and I mean this half jokingly because I'm in a good mood and I'm going to joke about everything I talk about right now, but I do have some sincere inquiries I wish to question y'all about. Okay. So I think many of you know that I have some, some, I have fake teeth. These are veneers, because I destroyed this tooth when I was younger. Many of you know in the early days that I chipped tooth. Um, what do I want? I want a Sunwalker, man. Sunwalker's dope. Turn five, clear the board. Turn six, damn, slam it down. So this is fake. Uh, it lay sick on the eyeballs. And because, I mean, you probably can't see it very well, but especially here and also up here, I'm balding, man. I'm going bald. Now, I don't have really any sort of shame or insecurity around the baldness. My grandfather was beautiful and bald, and I adore him more than anything on the planet. <clears throat> but, bit, I think I just, I just quiet the rabid worgen, I think. We have the other polymorph for what have you. <coughs> but, but, listen, but, I think about getting the hair transplants, man. Think about getting the hair transplants. And I bring this up in this particular fashion because I'm just curious generally what the thoughts are about, uh, it's not really plastic surgery. I don't know if it can, I, I, I don't really know what counts as and doesn't count as plastic surgery. But, um, you know, like, there's there's certainly a stigma sometimes against women who go through, like, black surgery procedures and so on and so forth. What about, what about on the male side? Oh, what are some of your initial reactions, thoughts, comments, that sort of thing? I, Because, like, I, I'm just generally, across the board, totally, 100% in support of, like, any body modification. Even if someone wants to, like, cut their leg off and replace it with... I don't know, a third arm blood down there. The I'd be like, oh yeah, let's do it, man. <laughs> Big Zero says, I like my day nine all natural. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why, but I find that so funny. That is the funniest thing. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to say. Oh my god, Gryden says, don't do it, you'd look better bald. But the thing is, if I get the hair transplant, I can always shave it. That would be the real disrespect to end all disrespect. So we need to survive for uno more tornos. And I think that this is probably the way to do it. This one, you think? I think this one. I'm more alarmed by that one. Angus McDonald's had had plastic surgery on my face. No regrets. Fuck! Oh my gosh! That's 1519! Ah! Are we dead? Did we die today? All right. Good luck, Frost slash Jaina. I've never seen this card used in a game. Whoa, that's actually that's actually pretty sick. Blood and 
Whoa, he's going to throw a weapon out there and kill me. Ah, he's not, he's not doing none of that, none of that nonsense. Nothing like that. So, I mean, I think that very clearly the only option that I do have is nothing but taunts. Wow. So if we get a two-mana taunter... That's four bops. If he has a rush minion, we die. Wait, no, we gain health. We gain health. We gain health. We gain health. Dead. Oh wow. By my that is heart. awesome, dude. That is well, that was so awesome. Power. Oh my god. Okay, that was <laughs> Well, I can't deal that. Gargantix has had to sub for that game. <laughs> Valencia says sa shave first, see if you like being bald. I don't like being bald. I've done it before. I look like a pear. I literally have a pear-shaped head. It's like kind of narrow hair, and then I've got these chipmunk chunker cheeks that I like. I actually like my cheeks, but they are little chipmunk chunker guys. Hmm. And McDonald says, I mean, I had to get my jaw moved centimeter and a half for dental reasons. So some regrets. Told the guy to keep my face as close as he could to pre-jaw moves. Should have told him to make me beautiful. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm real interested in the future of, like, body modification things. Because it's weird. when Like, I was raised in uh, Kansas, and, you know, religion's fairly commonplace all over Kansas. Like, there's, there's churches all over the place. Oh, boys. Um... Do I just need to shoot this twice? I think I just need to shoot this twice. It's a very bold move, but you know, it's good. Um, yeah, and, and and in that territory, there was a lot of like, oh, dude, you don't even get a tattoo. Getting a tattoo. I mean, that's like that's like proper sacrilege. <laughs> Gay until morning says, believe me, dude, as a trans girl, you're not the only one interested in the future of body mods, lol. Yeah, see, I mean, I just, like, this this whole idea of, like, remixing body parts, I mean, already in games, it's, like, super. Uh, I'm actually kind of getting getting dead here, huh? I think I throw out this and then a Doomsayer on the back end. These are all bad, but I think the Primordial Draco... See, look, I, you know, like, what if I could just have... Yeah, no, this... Uh, MX hits it, hits the nail on the head. He says, RGB hair follicles. Like, how great could that be? If I could just, like, download... Kind of like a Winamp skin. If I could, like, download, like, a really cool hairdo. Color-wise, not... Not cut-wise. Feel my pain. Huh? Oh, my God, I'm getting owned so hard in this game. I get a frostbolt. Something. Balls. Wax elemental one time. Yeah, man. I would do all that. Is he gonna thug me in the face?
Gryden says, I hope this doesn't sound like an insult, but I've noticed that ripped involved works like 90% of the time, but fat involved is a much lower percentage. So with your current and future products, maybe worth trying the shaved head thing again. First of all, I greatly appreciate you at least, you know, trying to. It's like, hey, just want to be clear. I hope I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to shit on you. <laughs> and totally no offense taken by that at all. Because, I mean, I, I happily, openly talk about the fact that I used to be quite a chunky spaceman. And even during that time, I was like, boy, I'm large. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing about, like, when I weighed a lot more, I didn't really feel that bad about myself. Like, the, the whole getting called fat on the internet thing every day. That was not as fun. But, like... Okay, come on. But, like, you know how I gained weight? By eating nothing but delicious, rich, tasty food, multiple meals a week. <gasps> Eating was so good. Oh, we're fucking dead. Props to Priceless for correctly identifying that he needed to cold blood uh, on the... on this little guy early on. That was a good play by him. First two losses. First two losses with this deck. Feels good, man. Yeah, man, I gotta... You're talking about Terry Crews, man. Terry Crews is so amazing. so inspirational to me, man. All the stuff talking about, you know, the... In support of, you know, men who've experienced sexual harassment or sexual violence. It's really just... He's just amazing about it. Because that's something that, like, I historically just just bugs me a lot. The whole idea of, like, I'm a tough guy, I'm not gonna talk about my feelings. I mean, I personally feel that a lot, because I feel that pressure. I totally, like, my whole life I felt that sort of thing. Oh my god, like, the the whole just like, yeah, no, you know, everything was horrible, but I'm just gonna say I'm fine, and I'm gonna take the pain, and I'm gonna hold it right here, and then I'm gonna die. Like, that's the solution. I solved it. I'm a man in America. Woo! Like, no, nah, man. Quote the amazing Fred Rogers. I think it can be much more dramatic to watch two men talking out their feelings than something of gunfire. What an extraordinary man Fred Rogers was, man. I literally never remember that this card is real anymore. I never remember this puppy, man. Okay, so if I throw this down, um, so I mean, you can't do anything really about this. I mean, I could throw this down and it would clear, but then what's my play next turn? What to do? Um, I could get a pretty clear acolyte ping out. I could also go for the bigger move of playing the Stonehill Defender. No, I actually think I like this quite a bit. So I pinged this down to three so it can't get through this Tar Creeper uh, particularly effectively. Is this a Murloc Mage? Yeah, it's basically Murlocs and Burn. So I like the idea of trying to keep this board clear. I have a Meteor, I have Polymorph, I have an Artificer. Did you see the Mr. Rogers documentary? I haven't, but I'm going to 1,000%. Primordial Glyph, what a bad card for babies. What a baby card. Seven Toes, happy 30 month anniversary. Oh, by the way, I said Dr. Walrus, I don't know if you're watching, but yeah, I'll, I'll get back around to checking your stuff. Just busy right now. I want to actually give a proper and thoughtful answer. I don't want to just sort of bang out. Oh, here's a quick thoughts, okay. Right. Never like doing that when giving feedback. 
Big Mike with the 500 bits says the end to this mage is coming. I'm feeling relatively positive about this. Oh, you are still here. Great, Seductive Wallace. Great. Eric SC2 just summoned with Twitch Prime. Hello, Eric. Dude. My Eric? He's so great, I like all Eric's now. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> this is, oh my lordy, I'm a sub after 10,000 years of lurking in this channel. No, I'm telling you, like, the Eric's before you have laid the first impressions already. I know you are just an absolute top tier human, because I've only encountered the top tier attitude of Mr. Eric Burkhart. Okay, so now I can ping and play out the Stonehill Defender, and we're going to be slowing things down. Good, great, excellent, excellent, excellent. So I'm gonna ping this once. Boop! Oh, flame striker! I'm gonna do this and mulligan. It's likely I will not flame strike. Depends on what he does. I just want to be very cognizant of maximizing the value out of my artificer. Paradoxologist is how you doing? Dude, I gotta say, I am I am just doing swell. I am doing just great. Like, I'm really happy that I've been, like there's this balance of exercise that I'm trying to strike. Which is working out enough that, you know, I'm losing weight, gaining muscle, making progress, all that good sort of stuff, but... Uh, I'm an Adeptatron! But also that I'm not tired. Because if, like, I'm not eating enough... What, you wanna... What is this? A school for plants? That kind of stinks a little bit. So I could conceivably like polymorph. Nah. Everything's on fire. Anyways. Now we have a couple options. I think the correct decision is to just meteor and play the 1 4. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. So we're going to play this 1 4. We're just going to investigate what we get. Black Sally is kind of nice. We're just going to go for the nice, cheap, efficient taunt. But yeah, no, I've been feeling really good, Paradoxologist, about just balancing how much food I'm taking in, how much I'm working out in my energy level. Because, you know, it's really easy to just be tired. So tired. Welcome to the Exodium Age. Where we grind out the aggros and blow up the controlios in one turn. Woo! Have a great night, man. Thanks for stopping me. I must protect the Gay until morning says, I finally actually got started really working out after years of false starts. It was a lot better to have positive goals instead of starting from feeling bad about myself. Yeah, <laughs> that's... We're against a druid. No, no, yes. No, no. Yes! Yes! I actually think we can pull off some goody goods here. What am I talking about? I was going to talk about something. Oh yeah, like, for me, a lot of the workout stuff was setting aside enough time. Because, I like, it actually still takes me a good amount of time to just 
workout. Not like the entire workout, you know, occupies a large amount of time, but like, wake up. <sighs> okay, I am going to go to the gym now. All right, here I go. You know, getting up early. Making sure there's no other distractions. All those sorts of things. Look, look. Taka's also just do the Daniel Bryan yes chant. Of course, of course I did, man. Of course. Uh, I think I do want to dig. I actually feel like it takes about an additional hour of time when I, from when I wake up. Like, if I want to get up and work out, I need about an hour of, like, charging up time. I think this is a better play than Polymorphin. I want to be a little reticent to use the Polymorph due to the fact that this is likely a Hadronox guy. Lunch is my problem with working out is that I love food so much I get really sad I have to cut out foods. That's another thing. Especially when you have developed eating as a coping mechanism where you're like, I had a hard day, I'm gonna have pizza. Ooh, today's not so bad. <laughs> like, when that loop gets really embedded in there. So this will take me to 10. So I'm, I'm digging pretty hard because I'm against a druid that is going to be looking to do a big spike of pressure against me. And I really want to make sure that I have as many Frost Novas, as many Blizzards, or just the combo. I love the combo. We have two of the pieces, two of the six. Onward, friends, to adventure! Ah! I'm sad because I really wanted Hadronox to come out. Um, okay, so we have some options here. Um, is this... I mean, we, we could just let more dragons come out, but I don't really have a lot of clear plays from that. I think I, think I pretty much just have to Blizzard... This guy is gonna. It's obviously gonna pop it off twice. Pop it off two times. So this is not Hadronox, this is just like straight, straight up the dragon. Holy cow! Okay, we are dead. We lost, man. We can't win this game, dude. <sighs> Oh god, that anti-magic shell. All right, well I was uh, well I gave a Hearthstone. It's done now. It's at least we died. <laughs> at least we had some hard app and we died real quick there. Uh, well, it's a good thing I have these polymorphs saved for these creatures I can't cast spells on. I'm just gonna do this, or that, you know, something, something, you know. Ooh, a little shield bear there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna quit. You win. Has Exodia worked yet? It's worked pretty frequently. The only losses we've really had are just these three out of our last four games. But outside of that, it's been all W's. see here. Shaman. Oh my god, we got this. Oh, there was that one game that I'm not gonna count as a loss because I just literally... He was dead, and then I played Simulacrum on a Doomsayer. <laughs> no! Just thinking about it hurts. I do believe that this matchup is um, hard. 
I do believe that this is a toughie. Because it's yeah, this is this is a shutter walk, man. Uh oh. I'm gonna do a timeout for someone posting links in chat. Oh my god, Doom Kitty herself. Wow. 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 Oh, I'm getting a little flustered. Wow. Oh. White Robin says, oops, I approved that link. Oh my god, you did? Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oh, whoop. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh oh, my bad. <laughs> whoopsie doopsie. Whoop. Oh. Oh, whoopsie doopsie daisies. Looks like someone got banned when they were given explicit permission. Ugh, I, I hate it when that happens. Listen, I, I'm just as upset as you are, a deacon. What do I even do here now? Just shoot tar creepers? Hope this, hope Shutterwalk Shamans just eliminate themselves from the meta. So the reason that I think that his deck is better than my deck, or I should say his deck, beats our deck in this matchup. I mean, there's really only one choice, right? It's just blow this thing up like this. He doesn't have any big threats. He's just going to try to infinitely blow us up with a shutter walk. But his deck has a lot more drawing tools in it, so I believe that he will very likely just be able to get get what he needs swiftly. Sandbinder, good card. We have three, three of the, our six Comboni pieces. It doesn't even matter. I know there's been a little kitty cat who visited me recently because the tippy tip of my nose is scritchy scratchy. Oh, a baleful banker. I mean... I mean, nothing, nothing is good about this situation. I mean, it doesn't really matter. to get yet more massages. How long will this go on? Why would you shuffle so many of those into your deck now, oh, man? Alright, there's four of the combo pieces. These games, like, this is gonna be a boring game. A lot of times we have boring games with this deck. One of my favorite cards, Farsight. Such a cute little card. Frostless Jainage doesn't help anyone do anything at all in any way, in any regard. It's bad. He's just gonna wibble wobble grumbles back and forth, isn't he? Dude, I feel power. Feel it. Dude, we can't really criticize this deck too much. We can't really say, oh yeah, shutter walks are bad and boring, because I'm an Exodia mage, dude. Metal Satire says I might be addicted to the game House Flipper. Dude, I watched the Rocket League player Rizzo playing the shit out of House Flipper. For any of you who've never heard of this game, it's a game where you buy a house, make repairs to it, and then sell it for more. Except, and here's the important catch, you don't actually do 
any real flipping in the market, right? This is a digital house and a digital game. Engaging TC-130 into this locator. He's, he's got the combo. He's got it. Yeah, no, I mean, we're not, we're not in good shape here, man. We are not. Alright, so I gotta, I'm actually, I just need to begin to pre prepare the combo. What are we talking about? Talking about? House Flipper Man. How long can this go on? How long, how long can these, 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 these go on and on and on and on? He hasn't even played the guy yet, so that's good. Engaging TC-130 into this locator! I should meet you! Is he really gonna try to grumble these back to his hand, man? No, of course not. I mean, my expectation is that he just kills me next turn, so... Reality. Woohoo! We got 11 health, baby! Woo woo woo! Oh my god, I love the, the mixture of Dark Souls and House Flipper. My should call it Dark Flipper. Alright, I need some bathroom, I don't care, man. This is so... This hurts. Alright. He's gonna pee! Woohoo! My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna play a turtle. Um, ooh, this is good. This is a little taunt to turtle. And then I'm gonna the ping. My hand is too full. All right, so I, I think we're gonna be up against uh, as the infamous Rotterdam StarCraft Two cast would say. We're gonna be up against quite some shutter walks. There's one. My bites that clump, my claws that snatch, my claws that snatch the clutch. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. You know, be really funny, is if somehow, amazingly, we like drew the combo and killed him. My claws that catch. My jaws that bite. My jaws that bite, my claws that attack, it's gonna be a long turn, baby, now. You know the funny thing is? We lose our turn. For any of you don't know, there's a turn overflow problem. Where, like, if, if you're playing and his turn's too long, it eats into my turn. It fight my claws that snatch. Oh. 
Club of Dreams is, I think they fixed that turn overflow issue. Uh, oh no, it still happens pretty much. My jaws, that's my <laughs> Hi, Thoner, just, just tuning in. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Nothing, basically. We're just kind of waiting for the engine to permit us the opportunity to click a button. <laughs> pieces like this looks super broken to me yeah so let me let me explain this deck really fast which is there's what now on my turn I will play the ley line manipulator I will cast a blizzard I will hand the turn to him so we need to draw in order Archmage Antonitis and Molten Reflection, and then we can win. Yeah, so basically the Shutter Walk says repeat all battle cries from cards you played this game. So he sets up a whole bunch by playing them earlier on, and one of those battle cries deals three damage to me, okay? And so he's just playing, there it is, there's the Life Drinker. So he's just shuffling more shutter walks into his deck. Now the funny thing is that, in th theory, what's supposed to happen is he's supposed to be able to play so many of these that he's just blowing me up, right? He just blows me up and blows me out. But he has only played one Life Drinker. Now, the funny thing is that, like, this deck is actually not particularly good. It's like, okay. Does this not cause fatigue? No, no, no. He, he's actually shuffling additional copies into his deck, so it's anti. Oh, there's another life drinker proc. So I think that we actually can survive two more turns. So if we can, like, actually get some more things out... Superad says, what does proc mean? Proc is the idea of, in games, it's commonly used as when a thing that has a trigger gets triggered. So, for instance, like, um, a hero that I like to play a lot in Dota is called Bristleback. And when he's received enough damage, he sends out a blast of Quill Spray, and then it resets that damage counter. Why would you play that now, man? Play it now. So anytime the quill spray triggered, we would say that the quill spray dropped. I drew an arcane artificer and just like played Blizzard and like. Your turn! <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm holding that hope. <laughs> oh man. My jaws that fight, my claws that latch. My jaws that fight, my claws that catch. My jaws that fight, my claws that catch. My jaws that fight, my claws that catch. Like a bad person. I wake once more. My jaws that fight, my claws that catch. 
We just we just let it run out, man. I think I die this turn. He needs to play. He needs to play a, an additional Shutterwalk. Depends on how many life drinkers, or excuse me, how many uh, Shutterwalks he can play. But yeah, we were talking about this at the start of the game. Um, Shutterwalk is the type of deck that it's generally on the verge of dying almost at all times. And so it kind of does need to rush quickly for its combo. Um, and for that reason, um, he's going to get to his one turn kill combo, or his uh, guaranteed kill combo, faster than I am, almost always. It's possible we don't get live drunk here. It's possible. There is a limit to the amount of battle cries that it winds up playing, so if he inadvertently... Oh, we died. <laughs> Alright, well, that was... <laughs> so the dominant deck this expansion no it's not really very good but it does hard counter ours woohoo Jaina versus Rexa oh my god oh it's Rexa. Saitama again you asked for it. Saitama. I watched her all of One Punch Man. It was actually, it was remarkably compelling for being. Like it literally, it literally seems like it would not be compelling. And yet it was. Oh man. I think, I think I'm holding my neck incorrectly. Because it's kind of hurting. Okay, so we're against a hunter now, and we we are we are a controlly OTK deck, but uh, we don't need to win with the one turn kill. We could just grind them out. So in this matchup, if it's something slow like a spell hunter, then yeah, I'm gonna be trying to hunt down a firm OTK, and no, you know. I accidentally said I had an appointment. How's your version of the deck been working? Uh, we went on a pretty sick win streak. Um, we've hit... More losses in recent times. It's not giving me any data about these games. There we go. The games are really long. Yeah, we went on a sick win streak, and then we've lost a handful, but it kind of feels like I've been losing forever because each game is about 40 minutes long. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh, what is this non-huffer-based media? Uh, so this is this is a spell unta. I feel that it is correct to just draw. Job's done. So I may play the Doomsayer right before his turn. I'm actually a little happy about that. So I think that I can actually do this, where I play the Doomsayer down, and then I Frostbolt here. And what's nice about this is that this encourages him to do nothing on his turn 5 if he has the Spellstone. We expect a lot of these hunters to get Spellstone. Eswark is having trouble with the mulligans for this deck. Any thoughts? If you're up against controlier decks, your draws I think you want to keep. Uh, never keep any combo pieces. Rarely keep Artificers. I 
what I'm going to do is actually pop like this. Draw. Technically, we, we could be milled here, but I fully expect him to play nothing but Mega Dogs. Oh, crap. Alright, guys. Let's pray that Blizzard gets eaten. Or a Tar Creeper. Tar Creeper would be the absolute nut burn. That is, in a way, a relief. But it does suck. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, crud. Uh, yeah, let's get the Grizzly Pal. Nah, probably Rotten Apple Bomb. Probably Rotten Apple Bomb is gonna be the, the winner move here. It's remarkably hard for me to chuck other things down. Yeah, I think the, the error that we made was burning Frost Lich fucking Jaina. That was what I would identify as the error. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I still think we can win, though. I feel... I mean, look at this. Seven turns. Look at this. We're gonna, we got a Healy guy. It's, like, surprisingly hard to play a game with a man that just does not- Oh my god, we only need ants and a pansonitis. Oh my god, who likes greed? Day 9 Alright. Alright. Who likes greed? Day 9 we literally draw Archmage, Anson, and Pansonitis, and this guy is so dead. D E D dead. I wonder. Kangar Wonder. Watch the mill Antonitis. God, that would just. This is such good news. Okay. First things first. Prepare the attack! Oh, shit. But, and if he has Wandering Monster... No, don't tell me that's Wandering Monster. I didn't think there was a combination that could draw two. Oh, crap. If I burn Antonitis, I hate this. That I hate that I'm alive. I hate my career. Oh, it was a sheep. That's so sick. That's good news. It's good news. God, it's good news. Oh, all of you have been cooked. I watched your Gosu play in Hearthstone. Oh, it was Gosu times two. Oh. Oh, Mighty Thunder says, I think you used up your one time. I'm not saying you're using them up. I'm just asking for just this one time, right? It's just, there's, not a, there's not a pile of them. It's just once that I'm asking for it, right? It's just this one time. All right. Well, I know what this little trickster's trying to get me to do. And I'm not gonna fall for it. Simulacrum, go. Simulacrum, go. Leyline Manipulator, go. This power is ecstasy. Alright, we just gotta draw ants and a pansonitis. Ah, uh, okay. I can't believe we're winning this game. Tar Creeper probably would have been a better play. But have I ever been known to not be a greedy man? He's so greedy. How is D9 so greedy? It's disrespectful to the game. <laughs> Dogs. Rawr. Oh, please. Now he's really sealed his fate. You know what? Antonitis off the top right now. Just one time. Just one time. We can Antonitis off the top. Just this one time. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. 
god. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Let's make a wall of turtles. A wall of turtles, I'm telling you, I got a good read on this deck. Um, uh, yeah, dude, we got... Now, the funny thing is that if I do draw Antonitis, now I don't have enough space. <laughs> God, if I could just get, just this one time, have an Antonitis on the top of the deck. Oh, I, have no, I have no creatures in my deck. I'm going to summon two of them. I will now make a zombiest of my own making. Saitama. More like candle. Ah, whatever. Come on down! Whoa. Meteor! Woo! And you know what? I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna just leave the Tar Creeper in my hand, because there's no threats. Once he played Kengar or Exar, he was doomed. Right, Doom Kitty? I have Lifesteal and Rush. This will help get me closer to the 30 health mark. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell this guy to chill. This artificer! He's exhausted. He's been just turning spells into armor for turn after turn after turn. No! My guy. Alright. Iggy11 says, Sean, how do you keep yourself from getting unbelievably sore when streaming for hours? I get a Herman Miller Aeron chair. That's how, man. I generally have pretty good posture. A pretty good posterior, if I may say so myself. And I do. Snipe! Hey, -o. Bread gravy, steel case greater than Herman Miller. I don't know why you're trying to fight me. You're already my favorite. Like, what do you think? What do you think? You've hit the highest of highs, now you want to just buckle all the way down? It's fucking sad, dude. Alright, how many do we have left? Oh, five cards. Look, come on. One time, Antonitis. Could you be on the top just one time? Once in your life be on the top of the deck. Thank you. That's why you ask. That's why you ask for the one time. For any of you guys who didn't know that that's how that worked. This might be the very first time you've seen this. Here's where the rat trap triggers, and he gets a 6-6 six, six to watch his dad die. Alright, that was awesome. I feel like a bad person. This deck is awesome. We are, we are on the streak. We are on the streak. This deck is so dumb. We just be one punch, man. I think it's I think it's that I keep my body angled this way and I turn my head like this. Yeah, that's probably it. Let me let me lean up and get more in like a dialed in position. It's an unto. Dumb decks, best decks. Aha! Oh my god, look we got a turtle, he's got his pimp cane. <laughs> Tar creeper. It's like stop, you can't come any further. Oh, God. Great way to finish the work day. This is super rad. Yeah. I like to, I like to provide a good finish. <laughs> Alright, it's Patrick. Alright, hit him with some days. Look at Patrick. Look at, look at sad Patrick. Don't you see this? Is Sean, your back has a machine running. Sorry for all the turmoil, man. You didn't cause none of that turmoil. 
If you did, you're a monster hacker, and why? how dare you destroy my system? But it was actually pretty painless. I, it's actually extremely painless. Like, the amount of time it took to just do the reformatting. Like, I had to, like, cook dinner, and then I had to go to the store and get a flash drive, because amazingly, I just, like, don't have a flash drive that I can find in my house. It's probably in a box somewhere. But after I did that, moving the files over took, like, 20 minutes. Piece of cake. The reformat itself took, like, six minutes. I was alarmed at how fast it was. I had one of those, like, <gasps> Uh, huh. Do I want a Tar Creeper? Or do I want a cheap Tar Creeper? Yeah, I'll get a cheap Tar Creeper. And I think I actually identified what got me the virus. Because I pretty much visit the same websites. Like, I, I, I have, like, a very limited list of websites. But, there was a song whose lyrics I was trying to look up. And I distinctly remember going, just Googling, what are the lyrics for this song? Yeah. Hitting upon some good old site that, honestly, it's like my screen started to go into like flicker crazy mode town. So I just turned it all off. Didn't think much of it. Think an insidious thing doth did sneak into my system. How sad I was. Do you use an ad block or anything like that? 10 5 blocks, a lot of dangerous ads. That's what I hear. I, I was using U Block Origin for a moment. Come on. Alright, we have three of the six combo pieces. But I mean, it just was. It was amazing. It was amazing how easy it was. And then it took me like. Not long to just be up no and running. Can hold me. Oh, are we serious with this? <laughs> yes, very good, very good. So if I do like this, and like that. Is it a good time to play the Doomsayer? I think not. If he's one of these, like... Get an explosion of nerds! That sucks. To my side. Wow. Whoa. that way. I kind of have to shoot this healthy boy. Damn! Oh my gourd. Now, maybe I can rotten apple bomb and doomsayer? I kind of, I kind of wish I had some card draw, some card draw. I mean, we do have 18 health, which is, which is quite lovely. This time of year. God, is this a risk worth taking? 
Is this a risk worth fighting for? Oh, I did not mean to hold on that card. Might be a risk, risk worth taking. Oh, oh my god. Ah, uh, I think the risk was not worth pain. Not Wind Fury. Oh crap, man. Come on, dude. Ah, I'm dying here. This will slow down this jerk. You know what? Here's how confident I am. I'm gonna shoot him in the face, because there's no way he can kill this. Yeah, Patrick. What do I even need? If I drew Frost on Jaina right now, that would be kind of the nuts. But I did not. I whiffed her, and thus, I am sad. Already got some polymorphs. We got maybe two turns of delay here. Bum, 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 bum. Ah. I think I do have to do it in this order. I defend this. I believe I have to do it in this order. Because now we get we get a watery boy. We get some heals. He's making things. He's using his his anger animal fist to create some stuff for us. We have polymorph to give us a little bit more survivability. Big Cheese City says, I haven't played Hearthstone in like a year and a half. I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> you came in at this very moment. You might be a little bit baffled. Oh, Tom, poisonous. Oh, come on. Oh, please do not be oh, a freezing trap. I, I don't think it is a freezing trap, right? Created by sheep. <laughs> it actually said created by sheep, man. Oh, that's. I mean, it sucks that the guy that created the sheep got us. Er. Okay, what do I think is actually the issue? I'm gonna play a few more games. Like we actually hilariously have not played terribly many games with this guy. Despite the fact that we've been playing for hours and hours. I'm gonna go get my final cup of coffee for the day. 5 p.m. is when I cut myself off. Jaina versus Morgul. You asked for it.
but it's against a shaman! And what do you think he's playing, huh? He better, there better be a little flippity doo dah of the Gen Greymane. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go back to Taunt Druid. We have turned our yes! It's spring. not Shutterwalk! We got a real match. Alright. For those of you who are unawares, this is the Even Shaman. It's another mid-range deck that's really trying to do more of the killing sooner rather than later. Builds up a board of, of annoyingly pesky, persistent things like the Let's Primal Fin Totem. Who? Who is that? None of my business. And he's gone. Press to summon a lot of these things, so then you can plop down a sea giant. Cheat out an 8-8. Eight, eight. Easily. Put this apple on your head. Oh. Very well. This is actually a nice hedge. Against what he be doing. How much longer was doing for? About two hours. The Zuriel says, I really don't want to spam. I just want to say, Day 9 is the first person to sub to with my own money. Not counting free prime subs. Hi all the way from South Africa. Damn. Welcome. Oh, the witch, the witch hood grizzly will be so sick. Part of me wants to share the sincerity I feel. Like, thank you for, you know, subbing all the way from such a faraway place to this here, Western United States stream. The other part of me wants to come across as just profoundly stupid. Be like, oh my god, how are things down under? <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why that muscle is like so deep in me that wish to just say dumb things. Um, it's there though. My god, it is there. How do I win this game? So I play this, it'll be a 3-8, and then I think we immediately die? I blow up this side of things with the meteor, but I don't think that that necessarily helps. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Frost Nova like this. Because I think it's very hard for him to kill this, unless he has like another one of these guys. He's only got a slot for one more creature. Maybe a Murspark Eel or something like that, but then I can set up for a big... Okay, play is more clear. Come on, shoot this guy, dude! Not a good spot to be in, but not a terrible one. So this is quite normal reaction when I said I'm in South Africa, no worries. <laughs> hey, how's how's the water situation in South Africa? I spent a little time reading about that. I know it's been quite quite difficult. I think I'm just gonna need a rip a flame strike. It's basically the way that we win this, huh? Mmm, almost the seven mana man that I want to see. We can also get a primordial drake from this. Not a chance. Yeah, the, for any of you who don't know, South Africa is having a real water shortage. I mean, I think it's might be flame striker bus time.
Well, now it's. Now I don't think anything really helps us. Operating the pain. That is quite helpful. And I think I do need to dig for something of more value. Does it really help us yet? Also does not help. go back to the deck that wins. This is the deck that's awesome, but I'm in the mood to win. We're just gonna be doing our Taunty Dragon Man. We're gonna be doing that. Watch this. I'm gonna go to a... Am I gonna go to a break? I don't really need to go to a break. I'm gonna do this. This is, this is an editor break. We just do this for the sake of the editors. Alright guys, it's a good day to win. We're just gonna win. Chain winning. This is a deck in which I actually have significant confidence. It's not as tight as the other one, but it's still pretty damn tight. I must protect the wild. Nature must be preserved. So we only really keep Warth, I think is it. One nut chuck says love you, man. Loving something you do is a good thing. Thanks, one nut chuck. I'm glad you left a pleasant message because your day makes me chuckle. It's a re really makes me chuckle a lot. I find it I find it fantastic. There's my growth. Cheated Master Okart is like game ending in this matchup. What's the big danger of having a Hadronox come out early? Well, it's that it's not really that you don't get a good big resummoning of Taunty Men. That's not really the huge issue. The huger issue is if it gets hexed or removed in uh oh, damn. Hexed or removed in such a way that you can no longer resummon. That's catastrophic. Turn six, turn seven. Yeah, no, that'll still be good. Um And so, if I can master Okart, uh oh, I think he's gonna win now. If I can master Oakheart and just cheat out a bunch of dragons and a Hadronox, I mean it's just too good. Uh, this is technically seven and eight. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw cards first. I think we're in mostly good shape. I'm gonna Primordial Drake next turn, no matter what. Not, not just cheered for 2K and said, hi, all. How's it going, not? I haven't seen you in real life in a long time, man. Okay, now how do I wish to deal with this threat? Um, I think that I just literally must do this. Uh. 
think I just save these. I know that looks maybe a little wasteful, but look at this. It's down to eight. For the wild. Let me chip away at it as best I can while still leaving my walls up. Says, oh my god, it finally happened after seven years of watching Day 9. I'm a sub! Wubba lubba dub dub. Well, balls. Oh, this is still not as bad. Trog Glue Meter is very nice in the mirror. If I can get some Hadronoxious action happening down, you know I'm going to be a very happy. No, my pen! Ugh! Ferocious howl! This is for the most part okay, unless he has a swipe. Whoa! King Rungood of Rungoodonia! Summoning huge swollen men. Mm. 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 It is no problem. Excellent, excellent. Bop. gonna nourish for cards. I think it's actually more important to get the Witching Hour and Carnivorous Cubes out than it is to... Frank. I think it's more important than ever. look weird, but I really kind of want this guy alive for two rounds. Let's get that anti-magic shell. Oh, this is the worst card. Where is Sheriff and Despy? I've been here a while and have not seen them. This is not the day and night I know and love. Well, Despy's right there. Despy's actually made a few appearances at the start of this show. Um, Sheriff has a new spot. God, that is just not that... What? Who is this man that keeps getting death and decay every single damn time? I think that's the one that you need to kill, though. Does he have his other swipe as well? Damn! Look at the run goods on this fellow. So I'm gonna need to dig for a uh, Vichin hour. Naturalize. I mean, literally, my thoughts exactly. Ooh, 
Oof, two Lich Kings. Shit, dude. Wait a minute. I think I can beat him in a race here by doing this. Naturalize? Not too many. Okay, never mind. Okay. Maybe that was a little bit greedy. If you got some smaller nerds, <laughs> he needs to stop getting Lich Kings. Well, we lose the mirror. That's what we learned. that matchup we lose if we the hunt begin. don't we get the juicy goods the first hmm. so this is good to keep mr fine why just one witching hour it's not really useful to have two i mean really the big thing is the carnivorous cubes give us kind of all the extra mileage that we need ah, this is an amazing starting hand for me do 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 do. Ooh, dragon hatcher. The big key moment in that game where we fell behind is when he got the nourish off on turn five. <laughs> Little big eleven said, "I return to lurk." Dude, it's good to see you back from the junk heap. Whoa! My double armor here, especially with that sort of opening. Is he? It's better to draw a card or to gain the armor. I think because he didn't do anything that last turn. I think. <sighs> Against this type of hunter, a lot of the hunters are these death rattle hunters that are really, really annoying to play against. The only way I can really win is if I just ramp up stupid fast. And this looks like what we are up against. So I'm actually probably gonna wrap twice to draw, because I just need like the other wild growth, the other nourish, or some sort of assistance. Still have another turn to play the. Still another turn to play this, this fellow. Oof. So he's probably gonna play the ooze. I still don't remember the name of the ooze. I actually don't think I ever learned it. It's the six mana five four ooze that says death rattle. S or battle cry, steal the death rattle of another minion. Seeping ooze, maybe. Oh, we didn't play seeping ooze. Oh, that's such great news. Oh my god, we got a swippy swipe target. So if I next turn turn eight, this doesn't matter for us. Okay. So, we master Oakheart. No, we don't. We have the Dragon Hatchers in hand. So, we just we just have to run out of Dragon Hatcher. So, we were very lucky in that we had a pretty ugly curve draw, but we just got there anyways. It's great. 
Oh shit, he says the first real deck I made in MPG was a Demir Mill control deck. Am I going to hell? Oh, and he's gonna wait till he has the. Okay. And then he's gonna play dead. It's a scary monster! Not what I was hoping for. about to lose. Hmm. Ooh, this is bad news. So the biggest error was hmm. pretty hard to win. Pretty hard to win at this point. You know, again, I think the branching paths, I think I still need to be armoring up more. I think I'm over card drawing with those types of things. I think that's the big mistake that I've been consistently making with this. Like... Wait, how did he get another one? How did he get three? Stitch Tracker, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I think that I just really need to use the armor up ability for that almost always, and use the card draw ability for it almost never. Yeah, I think the big thing is that in this matchup, I really need to... Any matchup where there's, like, a bursty play that could occur, I need to be well aware that branching paths for armor, when there's no threat right now, is probably going to be correct a high percentage of the time. I think that I I am incorrectly viewing branching paths too often as, like, oh, well, you know, I mean... I got nothing going on, so I'll draw cards. Oh, I have a board, so I'll buff. Oh, I'm about to die, so I'll armor up. This game will give me practice on exactly this. This mug looks huge. Yeah, it's because I got a normal sized mug and a gigantic mug. Normal mug for coffee, huge mug for water. Okay, so. It doesn't matter. Well, you says you didn't answer my question. Am I going to hell, man? Of course not. To my side. Enjoy your guilt-free fun. You fucking monster. <laughs> I think this is probably good. Mm -hmm. Is the mug huge or is day nine small? The world may never know. We're likely not going to attack for like a really long time. We more than likely won, especially with the branching paths for armor. Could only oh yeah, still here if seen the effects of the wildfires. Yeah, we're on a nice hike on Sunday. And it was really interesting because like so I live in Oakland, and if you were looking towards the Bay Bridge. Yeah, it was, it was like smoke. It kind of had that like weird brown, almost you know, pollutive haze uh, hanging there. We just keep playing taunts, and we're we're almost certainly gonna get the deal three damage to all enemies anyways because we run too good. No doom pact, damn. Um, but then if you started to head inland, air was really nice. It's fine. 
looks looks a lot like spell hunter. It looks a lot like a spell hunter. <sighs> yeah, I mean like the we looked at the air alert thing. There's like this air alert thing that's like green, yellow, orange, red, really, really red. Oh, one of these guys. Oh, well, he's gonna try to blow me up with dogs. Okay, mister. So none of these were a snipe, so I expect that these will continue to not be snipes. Come to me, little ones. Now you have a now you have a lot of four fours. That's that's terrifying. Yeah, man. I I have gone to the point where I really just much more like if I'm moving a lot during a day than if I like really lazy up. I feel like weird and uncomfortable and sad. I feel cry frown sad. Um, this is gonna look a little weird. Well, let me do this. Now this, I'm just gonna gain the armor now. I don't want to draw because I want to guarantee that I pull the primordial Drake out. I feel like that would be very bad. I'm gonna do this now to proc um, everything except for the freezing trap, and I'm not gonna swing in with anything. Oh, order, nice, very good. For no one. Really? Okay, well, I mean, I just kill this now. It's a little bit, but, you know. Now what we can do is we can dig really hard for Hadronox with a Nourish. It's a regular boar. Oh my god, that's funny. So now my dragon hatcher is just a 2-4. So if we draw Hadronox here... Oh my god! Oh, it's unfair! Freezing trap. Back to the hand with you. Yeah. It's a good turn! This druid is stupid! Woo! I hate getting this damn doom pack though, dude. Alright, we're we're easily gonna climb with this one. We're just gonna climb. We're gonna climb. Dynanas has recently got a job in patient transport at a hospital, so I basically get paid to walk six to nine miles a day. Dude, it feels good. It feels good to move around. It is one of the downsides of being a streamer. It's so easy to just literally stand still all day. Well, let's see, yesterday, when my computer went down, yeah, I just, just with my phone walked like three miles. For Doomhammer, I must protect Today I've walked 2,600 steps. I don't want any of these stinking bad awful cards. Popping the fruit, popping the fruit. Space Beef says, hi chat. What is up, Space Beef? Space Beef. Okay, so this is likely a Shutterwalk deck. And I'd like to hearken back to something I was saying way earlier. 
that I really feel like everything is effectively mid-range. Even this deck that I'm running is, like, on the slow side of mid-range. Because what I'm really trying to do is ramp up to all of a sudden, boom, huge threats coming down, turn after turn. I'm killing this immediately because this is a Shutter Walk deck. So he is trying to, as quickly as he can, get to his combo. So we're going to try to kill him before that. I mean, I, I don't really have any complicated turns. Really, it's play the Lich King. That is an expected taunt target. Can't really do anything about that guy. Yes, I can. I believe our next few turns are just going to be coining out some kings. Point out King, play the Drake, play the Dragon Hatcher. Let the pain speak to me. Let it, eh? Oh, I gotta change the title. I gotta change the title. It still says Exodium Age. <laughs> People are like, oh, I love Exodia! And they tune in and they're like, oh no. This clickbaiting douchebag. No, oh, I didn't mean to do it. Oh. Wait, really, man? Really, man? Three damage to everything. Ugh. Ugh. Lord says unsubscribed. I don't even think there really is an unsubscribe. It's just like halt continuing to subscribe. I will show you tears. Ice to meet you. Ice to meet you. Yeah, I think it's gonna be this big. Time. As soon as you get turn, throw a big thing, <laughs> passing it on. Studios says, stay nigh on your health journey. Have you tried to consider doing any meal prep? It's been really helpful for me. For me, it's kind of the opposite. I actually really like the ritual of walking to the store, buying the ingredients. You know, at 6.30, I'm going to preheat the oven. Then just spend the time in the kitchen cooking and doing all the dishes. Feeling good about that. I love how easy these turns are. I love cooking dinner after the show. It's so nice. Goodwink says uh, the shopping and dishes are what gets me. Well, for me, I, I like a bit of the break. A bit of the break in routine. Because otherwise I'd literally just sit at home all day. Like, if I bought all the groceries for the week, that'd actually be, like, disastrous for me. Oaken summons, so now there are no more three health things in the deck, three attack things in the deck. So when I play Hadron or Master Oakheart, it guarantees that I rip a Hadronox. And kill him. You get any cool gifts on your birthday? Yeah, let me actually show you the one that is torturing me. Togetheries, puzzlies. Let's count. One, this is four, four and four is eight, and four is twelve, and two is fourteen. 
and then we can get 24 extra damage. Shit. It sucks. It's one off. Yeah, so I got this. Let's see if I can actually reassemble it real fast. It's hard to get it all the way back together now, but basically it's this interlocking puzzle where, like, the goal is just to separate these four pieces. It's kind of hard to see. There's there's two gold pieces here, and there's two silver pieces here. He's dead. Alright. Oh, well, I guess not. Depends on what we draw. Ah. Uh. have done this in case I got the other one, but whatever. Uh, and see, the problem is that I didn't have any other armor gain. Reasoning behind not playing branching paths to push the damage that you had. Um, I mean, I feel like I am in the position where I have an unbelievably threatening board. Miss Lethal? No, I did not have Lethal. I did not have Lethal. Did not have Lethal. Did not have Lethal. You need to cast branching paths to gain armor. Otherwise, the Iron One Golem could not attack. So, I had Imaginary Lethal, as I would put it. Did it last turn? Wouldn't he be dead this turn? If he did plus one attack twice, the guy would not be able to attack. Aha! Bye, everyone. It's nice knowing you. Who my win. Okay, so this is 8 and 10. Fuck. I think I... Because if I go for... Actually... Wait, can you not uncast this spell? Oh, damn. Okay, so if this is 3 and 8 and 10, 10 plus another 6 is 18. Alright, so we're going to gain 6 armor twice. Possibly could have just pushed in for the damage. I thought that his real struggle was going to be trying to clear through my board. And if he did that, then I would be able to... wreck him. This, this puzzle is like really hard because I think it's like not about. I see my jaws that bite. My claws oh, created by ah. So what we need is for the battle cry to be grumble. 
uh, or whatever stops him from throwing out life rockets first. I think now I'm just guaranteed dead. Is that right? We die. Twist the puzzle? Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. Cause like if I oh yeah, if I hold it like gently turn it like this. Oh no, I haven't found any ways to twist it to get it to come out. Where there's a middle, there's a way. Yeah, dude, we're just killing time. I think that I have a very slightly winning percentage against his deck archetype. Oh, I shouldn't play a bunch of Shutterwalks. Twist it, bop it, turn it, pull it. I must decide. We're just waiting. Go ahead and wild growth, and we can get like a carnivorous cube on the witching out. Ooh, that's pretty good. Well played. Go ahead and nourish. I don't have enough math. Do this. Your card destroys his hand. Yeah, I'm just letting him go through the motions. My claws that catch. Here comes the life trigger. Oh, so yeah, I mean, I think that the win rate for our deck against his is slightly favored for us, like maybe sixty percent. Because you know, he'll, at some point, he, like, I think that if I had doubled up the attack, we may. Maybe would have been able to kill him then. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Malfurion versus Gul'dan. And it's it's actually like a really interesting thing from a design perspective because it's something that Eric Dodds talked about in his Hearthstone talk at GDC, where um, many of you may recall back in the beta or even after release, mind control was eight mana. Mind control was just eight mana. And when they looked at the win rates, what they found was that it was not actually unfair. The win rates for priests were not disproportionately high. However, it frustrated people so much that they moved mind control from eight mana to ten mana. I think Pyroblast. I believe that was not true of Pyroblast. I believe Pyroblast. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh. Pyroblast was just actually winning too much. But the thing that's interesting about Shutterwalk is that I think that it is, in fact, a low win rate deck. I think it's a low win rate deck. But it has a number of issues where, like, he, he won the game, I think, like, one-third of the way through the timeline of the game. Okay. So I think I actually do want to kill this, because I want to double Oaken Summons before swiping. I just tried to drink water, and I messed up very badly, because I forgot that I had refilled it. All right. Now I just... I just... Build some water all over my chest, oh. 
So one third of the time was, um, you know, one third, maybe about half of the time was playing the game. Then one half was just like him sort of irrevocably killing me. There's really nothing I can do. And like, personally, I really don't get that annoyed by it because I more am interested in the, just what's the percentage win rate thing? Part of me wants to be like, yeah, I think from a design perspective. I don't know if I actually like that. Oh, this is cool, now he's protected. Ooh. Oh. From a design perspective, I think that there is real dangers if you have this sort of deck where like, because I mean like, I'm looking at chat, I've, I've not seen chat this mad about a deck in Hearthstone in a long time, man. <laughs> just, that's just why I hate that, that's so stupid, it needs to be bad. It instills enough anger. Yes, hit like this. Hit like this, set it to one now. Worked out great for me. So, again, this is one of these spots where I think that my temptation typically would be draw two cards, because we're doing alright, right? I think that I'm going to gain two armor here, and that's going to be our considerable win rate booster. hearing uh, Rob Pardo make the argument that like one of the good things about losing in a game like StarCraft is that when you lost, you lost pretty hard and were ejected from the game immediately. Which meant that you didn't really spend time losing. Speak your peace. Alright, I think this is a good time to cook the ice. You would just lose, and then you wouldn't worry about this. the rest of this complex stuff in the game. You'd just have a smaller problem. It would just eject you from the game immediately. So more of your playtime is meaningful. And I think that's true to a point. I think that StarCraft maybe is too sharp for the average bear. Where it's just like you're playing, you're focusing, you're concentrating, you're macking, you're building stuff, and you're dead! <laughs> you just die! Um, I think that, like, peeking up, and then like the, oh, and maybe giving you a little hope when you kind of like peter out. What's getting chucked, friend? Ooh, the Death Spark. Death Speaker. Spark Dire. Sleepy Dragon! <laughs> and I, I feel like, uh, for any of you uh, who don't know the term a German style board game, there are Western style board games, most cleanly encapsulated by something like Monopoly that is has properties where in the board game players are eliminated one at a time they're a lot more about direct conflict they tend to be about war and capture and destruction um but german style board games which are the most popular modern style of board games are games that tend to keep all players in the game until the very end they tend to be more about playing alongside um oh huh playing alongside an opponent rather than against. Settlers of Catan is a really great example of this, where you're just collecting victory points. There's a lot more of an economic aspect to it. Ooh, my deck starts to feel real powerful now. And there's something that I remember hearing a uh, board game designer talk about that like there's shitty um, German style board games that keep all the players in the game till the end but like halfway through it's very clear that Simon's gonna win and there's nothing anyone can do to stop Simon but the game just keeps going right that it's actually a really difficult balancing act 
want to have all the players are in the game until the very end, but all players are meaningfully in the game until the very end. So a lot of times where there's enough variance and choice that different people could possibly win, right before that inflection point where Simon becomes irreparably victorious, you back up two turns and end the game there. Like, that's it. Begin. I must protect the wild. Be like a bad person. I know it's not German style, but I feel like Risk is a very relatable example of this for a lot of people. Yeah, Risk is straight up Western. Western AF, man. Battle, destroy, overrun, kill, murder. I don't have enough math. Yeah, you do, you jerk. Dester, 710s. Is any chess players in chat? I played chess a lot as a kid, and as an adult, I'm much more interested in Go. immediately. Okay, so that's a freezing trap. Halal says, Yo, Day9, did you ever play the board game called Acquire? The one about buying stocks? I think I did play Acquire when I was a wee lad. Not a wee lad, I think I played it in freaking grad school, dude. Okay, so here again is where I'm going to draw a card. Then I'm going to... Well, now I have my other armor gain tool. I think I'm going to be a responsible medicine in the game of the game armor. Free damage. I don't even remember how it works. Good. Might seem wasteful. I don't think it is, because I got a turn eight Lich King play. Forces is always game talk reminds me of the good old small world episode of Tabletop. I still feel guilty about that, man. Still to this day. I was such a monster. Candle snot. Think you got me, Panda Bear. It's a very bad Chango says, I hope I'm not wrong here, but I feel like you would enjoy the game Tales of Arabian Nights thoroughly. I have a good group for it. Mostly walking is any indication. I played that game. I did not like it. <laughs> Maybe it's the group I played with. There's a lot of board games where it, I, it feels so slow to me. I kind of want to do stuff, and I just feel this drag. Alright, so I should not attack, because if one of those is a freezing trap, I'm never able to cast my friend ever again. Uh, Oaken Summons is an excellent draw here. I will therefore use it to rip a golem. 
I wonder if Tales of Arabian Nights would be more fun just if I tried out. Who runs this? Fuck. Um, so I feel like I really do need that naturalize. Or we die. Actually, I'm gonna do this to heal. I'm leery of getting too low. Another one? Animal bite. Okay, so I mean, this spell hunter. Spell hunter sometimes just shocks me with how much damage it does. Dragon hatcher would be fine. Naturalize would be the nuts. Master old card. Okay. And then I unbelievably, superlatively, desperately need a double branching path for armor. Alright, he got it from Roque Delar, and he got it from himself. Alright, well. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm not going to use a restroom. I just can't believe how badly I need to go. Whoa! Out of the way, Nespo! Coming back, his mulligan will still be perfect. Of course it would be. All right, we're against a druid. All right, how dumb is it? How dumb is it gonna be? Okay, well, that's beautiful. What happened with the mage deck? Uh, we we won like five, six games in a row. Then we lost like four or five games in a row, and all of that process took like the better part of three hours. <laughs> <laughs> this took so long. All right, we are we are more than likely dead. I feel I feel near positive that we've lost. I think here I do need a branching paths twice to get a nourish. Like we just need ramp so unbelievably badly. This matchup is just about who ramps into it first. Eh. Alright, I, I mean, this is literally one of the worst possible starting hands. Uh, <laughs> Ironwood Golem instead of Oaken Summons. Two of my dragons. Hadronox and Lich King. I do. This is not good. I was about to upgrade though. All the wild. That guy scares me a touch. So this is the dragon version, I believe. damage. I don't really know how much it matters. If I can just pull a nourish. Alright. I don't want to do this, but I think I must in order to possibly draw something of value. 
that's value. Ah. So those fourteen seventy says people got superpowers based on their place of origin. What would Leewood, Kansas, have bestowed on you? Well, I feel like this the the thing that Leewood, Kansas, did bestow upon me is a Roughly. more grounded Roughly. sense of right. the world. Just general calm demeanor. I would imagine. People are pretty upbeat in Kansas. Pretty far cry from some of the histrionics. But at least I felt we're here on the West Coast. What if... Not corn. Ah, yes. I would love the ability, what gifted from is? Kansas, to have the ability to communicate with corn. Just sit down and be like, before we eat this corn, I want to let all of you know that it was afraid before it died. <laughs> it was like, very well. Uh. <laughs> That's a good idea. I should, I should play that card, man. That's... That is so dark! It's so dark! This corn never really thought that the beetles were very good. Let us eat. <laughs> you superpower to traumatize your dinner guests? I can't help it. I'll just, my eyes will roll back in my... And when they look, my, my the eyes are all milky and white. We may win this, yeah. Sure do wish I had a frost more than that. that would have been better. Wanna see the boo I do? Boo. Let's gonna have another dragon catch. I don't think there's that much I can do about this. Other than try to out summon him. Out summon him. It is I, out summon a man. I think I need a blast Hadronox down right away. What if I dream and the world trends? Oh, you want so many of those cards, do you? Huh. Wild growth? Let's kill the wild growth. Yeah. Sometimes I'm respectful enough not to scream out one time. A lot of times, I just, just this one time, I want to pull it off. You know? God, is he gonna get my dragon? Oh, Gord. That's actually an insane Frostmourne. Frostmourne truly is the best card. Fucking shit. Oh my god, we're so dead. This sucks. I'm just gonna concede. I don't really care much. Try to be the all star. Oof. If he doesn't get the Frostborn there, this is far less painful. It's far less painful. I had a bad run for like 10 games. Some rough games. 
Alright, I gotta time you out. You're asking a lot. No spam allowed. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. Maybe I should only keep one. Feels like keeping two against mage is good, given how many secrety things there are. I'll never tell. Oh. All right. Well, I think I think I just shoot this right now. So it's a secret mage, but this has to be a super aggressive secret Someday mage. Like I think that once again, I just I just blow that up too, um, because with the secret keeper, I think secret keeper is not good in a lot of secret mages due to the fact that we have many secrets. Your hand gets almost empty almost immediately. Okay, so I am going to coin because if it's anything but a counter spell. I mean, look, this is this is a very good situation to be in. Amazing. Got to put this puzzle away. This is going to drive me insane. I understand why fidget cubes work, man. An incredible discovery. Great, so again, we know that this is not a counterspell, so we can just march head first in. It's like 99% chance an explosive trap. It would be nice if we could Oaken summons out an Ironwood Golem and then chomp that with the cube. That wild growth was a very nice opportunity. We're gonna run Naturalize directly onto that. Yep, especially with that being the card, so we'll hit like this. This is counter spell. Explosive trap, explosive rune. I suppose is the more correct terminology. Ah, that actually relieves some pressure. The power is here. You need only to see. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna gain six armor, and then I'm gonna gain six armor. Because he needs to burn me out to win. I'm gonna play this, it'll go to six. We'll have to spend some resources to blow it up, and then I can play another Sleeping Dragon. Good, so he's gonna actually have some meaningful trouble dealing with this. Explosive trap. Wow, I didn't know these secret mages were running mirror entity. Good, some resources used. Marginally concerned, because that could just be another mirror entity. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Ooh. The power is here. You need only to see. Is a swipe turn better? No, I think just running this out and hoping it's not a... Hoping it's not that. Maybe we can set up a good swipe turn. Maybe? We're more than likely dead. Oh, man. Well, I 
guess that's that, man. We're not having the best run. Ah, damn. Maybe I think that I should not have kept two lesser Jasper Spellstones. I think that they're just sufficiently weak on their own. At least let me shoot myself in the face. Oh my god. Top tier deck falling down. We lost almost all of our recent games of everything. Woo! We are on a lost streak, baby. I have to tech in some more defensive cards early on. Oh, always keep nourish. Anytime there's like a really rampy deck where like if you're if you've been watching this for a while, I never really have that many cards in hand. Because most of the time I'm just spending all my mana on one huge thing. And so this just makes your mulligans really, really important. Because, you know, if I was doing, like, one of those control mage decks, I have a lot of opportunities to draw and get some of the combos. And certainly the mulliganing's important, but you won't feel the penalty as much, because often you'll be able to draw a solution and so on. In this case, what happens, you literally just don't have a solution. So, this is like one of these insanely easy win draws. So I'm going to nourish to 7, and then I'm going to have like a turn 8 where I can Oaken Summons and Wrath, and then turn 9 I should begin slamming down the big boys. Terracon, 32 months. Says, hey, Sean, you're my longest running sub. Happy Tuesday. Man, happy Tuesday to you, Terracon. Always good to see you. You've been here a long time. Welcome to my way. I'm actually... I mean, this might sound derpy, but, like, I'm amazed that we are halfway through 2018. Start playing the big boys, man. He has five men, I got eight. Woo! Yeah, I'll, I'll hurt everyone again. I don't see how this helps him terribly much. <laughs> Now we have a bazillion armor gain in here. I got the best deal anywhere. All right. Look at this. He's getting rid of his cards for me. It's perfect. I mean, I think that this is the correct thing to do. To blow all of this stuff up. Slow him down. Yeah, 2018 has felt... I liked 2018 so far. 2018's actually been pretty good. Welcome to my world. 
<laughs> this guy's a toast. Toast, toast, my ghost. Alright, well, I'm just gonna pop this guy and enjoy myself 412. Sharkness is showing like 2018 because he's getting power hot. That actually has been a goal of mine for a while. I started just grinding hard starting in 2017. Many of you may recall I injured my back two times. Which felt like poop! Oh no, not a swipe. Oh, actually, that, that also stinks. Welcome to my web. And you're back from working out. Yeah, just in proper form. Leave me be. Probably the better one to run out. Yeah, dude, the dragon hatcher. This is one thing I've been heating up. Yeah, I'm hoping that by the end of the year, I'm actually just uh, infuriating to be around. Because anytime someone hugs me, they're just like, oh my god, it's just rippling with muscle. Like, that's there end of year goal. Oh, look at this! Accepting four damage a little bit at a time for us. Leave me be. Leave me be. May as well just remove threats. Sharks, I still mentioned the angle of your camera is not flattering. I think that everyone noticed watching Jurassic World Evo set up in the booth. Yeah, I, I, I really hate a camera up here. It doesn't feel natural to me. I like this viewing angle. This is this is a little below eye level. Like eye level to me is here, and it's just like maybe 20 degrees down. Terra Console, what would you say your biggest fitness challenges? I think finding out how to eat. Because, I mean, it's not as simple as, here's what you eat, man. It's like, how does the... What's the entire process of going to the store? When do you prepare the food? How does it taste? How do you clean up after the food? Like, all of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I will ever change this angle. This viewing angle. Don't see it. Uh oh. I only have one more dragon in here, so this is fine to just pop that guy off. This guy is gonna have a lot of four fours. So, how did I mess that up? How did I mess that up? How's that even possible? Vile Spine Slayers! Oh my god damn. It's got a lot of those 4-4s. Four so there is a 2... We're banking on the Two out of seven chance right now. Alright. Yes, I did, Walrus. Please stop spamming. Just rip Hadronox or Master Okar. It's pretty hard not to just immediately win. It's pretty hard. Whoa. Still pretty hard not to immediately win if we don't draw those. Wow. I didn't do it. 610. 10 and 12. Well, we'll buy herself like a turn, is that right? Hmm. 
There were a few opportunities where I also could have drawn with the branching paths earlier. Might rip the Trog Gloom Eater, just put in something a little more basic. It's possibly just Shadow Steps and kills us too. Alright, well. Two out of seven? Ah, oh, crap, man. Um, um, I think there's any way out of this one. For the wild. Man. Come on, guys. These have been rough games, man. Man, the two the two cards that saved me off the bottom six of the deck. Boom. This sucks. I'm gonna rip the Trog Glue Meter out of here. It's pretty nice in some of these matchups that I'm just like not encountering. Taunty Dragon Man. I think just a good old fashioned Tar Creeper. I always type in Tar expecting like just the Tar Creeper to show up. Let's see, so these are good, this is good, this is fine, this is fine, fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty pretty tight list. Draw Glue Meter does feel really nice in mirrors. To, to spite keep the Master Oakheart, and this is a bad idea. I suddenly miss our little Exodia control mage, man. It actually felt pretty nice. None will survive. I think the Herman Miller Aeron chair is like a life changingly great piece of equipment. It's just, it just feels incredible. In this matchup, I think Rathing to draw is correct. How much did the chair cost? About an even 1,000. I think if you're someone who spends any amount of time at a computer. Just save up for it. I treat it as like a computer part. This looks excessive, but I think I should need to dig for my better cards in this matchup. It's like so swingy. This matchup is pretty easy if I can just play one Dragon Hatcher. <laughs> Hanius is very visually pleasing too. That is true, that is very true. Reporting for duty. Okay, so he's used the coin. Oh, not a good, not a good turn. Not very good. So I have the swipe, and he can't do anything for two turns in terms of so many nerds. That might just be too good. I am going to draw twice, though, because I am of the strong opinion that, okay, I will always get lucky. Yep, yeah, the nourish. I think I, uh, let's see, so I'll be at six. So I'll use a swipe this turn. Because I think I'd outright lose to... If he's not going to be playing any more 1 1s, I don't need to worry about level up that much, so I think we're actually okay. 
This is all fine. I'll pop this guy in Nurse. Is that really what I want to do? I think so. I think so. I think so. We won't necessarily Dragon Hatch this turn. We'll probably just, like, annihilate his board with a swipe and play an Oaken Summons, then after that run out the Dragon Hatcher. And Varim says, well, I'm back from the gym. Stream is still going and I am dead. Dude, how was it? Because you you were with a uh, trainer, right? And Varim, what'd you do? This is all about Varim now. This is all about finding out what Varim's trainer says to him. How Varim's trainer treats him. Should I... I like the positive trainers. We're like, good job, great. A little more like this? Excellent. You got it. I hate the opposite. I despise those doof-ass trainers who are like, Oh yes, a client, another opportunity to power trip over an individual. Like, no, please no. Ooh. Shoot this guy right now. By God, I do. Do I though? If I shoot this guy. This kind of makes him feel a little, a little worse about everything. He had me leg press over twenty thousand pounds. Lol. Oh my God. So, like, what were the divisions of that? Because I knew he didn't just hand you a $20,000 weight and was like, push. Should I... Hmm. Handle it. Handle it. You don't know, Saku Den. I got another swipe in my back pocket. Was it, yeah, is Terra Consus, was it one pound 20,000 times? I say twenty thousand dollar weight. I think I almost said twenty thousand dollar bill. Reporting for duty. Why that instead of hero power? Oh. The end, Varum. What'd you do? I, mean, I don't want to swipe, but I feel obligated to. It's just like too good of a setup. Deeper, deeper. It's a corridor creeper. You know, maybe now I'll be comfortable dragon hatching. Hundred thirty-five pounds twenty times. Hundred eighty pounds twenty times. Two hundred twenty-five pounds twenty times. Two hundred seventy pounds twenty times. And three hundred fifteen pounds mm. fourteen times. And Barum, that is exhausting sounding. Like I am so oh, tired now that you've told me that. Oh, dude, I can't wait in a little bit. Turning on the oven. It's gonna be oven time. We're gonna get that salmon all bakey baked up. All right, he's got no cards in hand. It's an empty hand. Here we go. God, that does feel... That does feel entirely too hilarious. I was all about this dragon hatcher until I just up and killed him. Doing says leg day is great. Squats are like the best exercise ever. Yeah, man, I like squatty squats. How do I cook my salmon? Well, I put on entirely too much minced garlic along the top of it. Afterwards, I put salt, pepper, oh yeah, sorry, olive oil first, and then entirely too much minced garlic. Salt, pepper, some rosemary. 
Heat the oven up to 425 degrees, bake it. 15, 16 minutes. Mm. So good. Oh my god. Chango says there's no such thing as too much garlic. That's right. Then we uh, take some sweet taters. Sweet potato. Stab it with a fork. Ah! Until it has a lot of holes. It's very perforated. Put that on a little plate, put it in the microwave. Cook it five minutes one side, five minutes the other side. Peel off the outside. You have a mushy, ushy, gushy, mushy tater. Put a little bit of avocado oil in there. Just a little bit, not too much, or otherwise it just turns into gross mush. A little salt, a little pepper. Oh, this man's dead. And Kitty says, I'm allergic to garlic. Dude, just eat eat the garlic. Just suffer. It's so tasty. I don't know what happens to you allergically style. Speak your peace. This is the only time I've ever met was a Cheesecake Factory. I feel like everything you cook would be better than Cheesecake Factory. That's right. Yes, it would indeedy do. We better win streak our way back to nine before this game's done. How did I... I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop, man. This is like such an easy, obvious, clear win maneuver. It's like why it's in the deck. Just looking over here, thinking about Cheesecake Factory, man. Got a lot of rough losses, but this was just purely me not even looking. Yeah, so I mean, I have a pretty straightforward hmm. food build. My food build's pretty, pretty straightforward. Piece of toast, four eggs. Boom, it's the morning. Looking for good trades. Then... Subsequently, you know what we do? Lunch, chicken, spinach, black beans. Dinner, salmon, sweet potato. Reporting for duty. Hey, I found it! We won! Your meal sounds so easy to prepare or overthink it. That's what I'm talking about. How much water are you drink daily? Gallons, man. Gallons of water. I am I'm like essentially a camel. Fucking Saka says, do you weigh out your food on a food scale? I found that extremely helpful for losing weight. No, but I buy exact amounts. And I don't keep extra food in the house. It's not like I just buy bulk chicken and just <laughs> Malfurion versus Jaina. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. So in terms of the measurements, I have about a I have about a pound of meaty things a day. I have a half pound of chicken for lunch and a half pound of chicken for or half pound of salmon for dinner. Mmm. Mm, God, it's so good. One whole sweet potato, half can of black beans. A lot of spinach, just a sickening amount of spinach. What is this weird alien presence? It's Pyros. I think this is damn. Now I'm hungry, dude. I'm like suddenly like way too starving, man. What are your macros set up to right now? Uh, well, generally, uh, three is my scouting worker. Five to nine is my hatcheries. Zero is what I'll call a hatchery cluster. You know, if I have like four hatcheries in one spot, I put them all, I put one of them on zero, so I hit zero, zero, and go there and just box select the larva. Um, typically, one is my active units, two, three, four are my um, sort of just more my flanking units, and the rest I just box select. That's my macro setup. So in other words, I've literally told you everything that I do. Like, I, I told you everything I know.
what is... Oh, I thought that was a hard cast. I was like, I'm going crazy! My life has bonkers! Do I want a branchy pants? Do I go? Draw one. See, I always want to draw more. I gain the six armor, man. So, did you ever branch out and try new things with your food? Well, basically, not during the work week. Because during the work week, I don't want to branch out. I'm not like, oh, it's Tuesday. Try to whip up something new. No. When I'm done, like, I'm done in about 15 minutes. I have been talking nonstop for six hours. And if you if you've not watched this stream, or even if you have, you, I mean, I think it's pretty fair to say I talk disproportionately more than most streamers. Like, I, this is dense. And you know what? It's tiring talking to all of you about shit that interests me. I'm exhausted. What do you think I want to now figure out how to make something new? Oh my god. Although I did do that some. I did do some other cooking and it was actually really fun. LG East has you ever tried good homemade ceviche? No, never had. Don't even care much for ceviche. Don't think it's bad, don't think it's good. I've had it like once and I, I, I found it cold. It's my entire evaluation of ceviche. Alright, I don't need to do nothing. Fast in this turn. It's your turn again, Mad Cowzy. Has JP ever tried to get you on the sous vide train? Yeah, he did. Sous vide is where you basically put meat in plastic and then you throw it in. Into like a, into a vat of hot water. And it just sits there. Getting all hot. Getting all hot and bothered. There's your JP noise of the day. That's Gene Kung says, I know you do BlizzCon all the time. Have you ever considered going to DragonCon? You know, truth be told, I have never really considered going to any other conventions. At all. I have, my exposure to the convention world has been pretty much exclusively through um, being invited to do work. Doing verky things. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna swipe this. We're gonna face check oh, this. No we're just gonna the Kengar And then I look forward to a life with a sleepy dragon. We have to be ultra unbelievably careful with that Hadronox. Because there's some effects that could be had Hadronoxious, such as getting polymorphed. Wait a minute, did he cast a Book of Spectres? Did he cast a book of specters? Oh my god, BM Kibler's now auto hosting you for 1,600 and 12 years. I gotta be more careful. I gotta figure out when BM Kibler's going offline. Cause I'm going offline soon, baby. I'm going offline at 15. This is a sixer, right? Someone help me out. Did he play a book of specters? Because this appears to be a very creature-heavy deck, Mad Cowsy. I think then, therefore, he does not have a polymorph, which would be the biggest, biggest punch in the gut. Be the biggest knee cracker. It'd be the total toe stubber. Flames! Flames! Young man will just never stop talking about flames. Hey guys! Woohoo! Big Mike, going to bed. Good night, Big Mike. Sleep tight. Don't let the other New Yorkers bite. Hmm. Bum. Ba bum. Du, 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 du. Ah. 
I think I need to go to the store and pick up some minced garlic. Yeah. Preheat that oven. It's actually not the preheat oven right now. I'm going to turn on the preheat oven. Get the store. It's going to be so good. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tasty. Ooh, it's Hadronox. Ooh, look at this. Man. Bink, bonk, bank. Hey, guys, me Hadronox. How's it going? What? If you have a polymorph, Do not fear. he doesn't. Ma, ah, ah, ah. Who wield it. Do you like these pen flipping skills? So we can do behind the finger, front of the finger, front of the finger, front of the finger. We can do the finger pass. We can do the finger pass. We can do around the thumb, and then we can link some of those together and drop it. And drop it and plot it. Beep. Boop. Beep. Motherfucking beep. Yeah, I'll do this. All the while. I can do it on the other finger, too. This is the left hand. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, oh, so much pen, flipper edge. Why not cube the spider? Why cube the spider? I have witching hour in hand. Just gonna hurt him like this. Gives me more control. Take that. I like fiddling with a pen, except the problem is that my Fingers get exhausted. Simulacrum. It's just like tapping, tapping, pen flipping, weight lifting, salmon baking. Lights grace as I click pens in my hand, don't even notice until people get irritated with me. Yeah, that's me like all the time. Anything fidgety, I'm fidgeting with, man. decks win. What do you do with bubble wrap? I pop every bubble. Are you kidding me? Pop the bubbles. Smork. Smork. Amazing. Smork. Good play. A little Big Eleven with just a good old classic. Smork. What is Smork? Well, Green Winters. Smork is a meme that emerged. Is an emoticon that is all about going straight to the face. The just this nonsense is about a dumb, derpy hunter who's just like, mm, me have plan, me go face. <laughs> I think there was a song made about it. Actually, close to dead, man. Bugger is healing a lot. Uh, 
into Magic Shell. Pop the 5 6 with the 5 4, and then he's gonna play Secret Geddon. Secret Geddon, Secret Geddon. Gotta admit, play was pretty cool. attention more. I think we lost. Well, I guess when I got an enemy who's been playing minions the whole time, I literally did not even see that he had a secret down, man. Way more than not looking. I just like I did not even see a secret. I don't even look for it over here, man. That's it. I'm ending the stream after this game. I see you. Ooh, this one hurts. We got no way. We got no hope. No possibilities. No future. It's a doomed game. The one, two. Good, this is good. Three cards left to our one card. By my frozen heart. Yeah, screw your heart, dude. Does he have another one? Victory, man. Snatch and defeat from the jaws of victory. It's stinker dinkers, man. I mean, we might win, maybe, but I just don't think with all the life gain that he's got. God, today's Hearthstoning sucked! What an unpleasant extended sequence of death. Man. Dude, the number of games that we literally won and then just like trivially threw away. God damn, it kind of sucked. 